Hey, what's good guys? It's Rob by Phone Tech over here on another video. And this one, guys, I'm going to be comparing an iPhone SE on iOS 12.1 developer beta to an iPhone SE on iOS 10.3.3. I know, guys, I haven't been covering beta since a while now because the iPhone XS Max is out and stuff, which I'm still going to cover as well. So as always, guys, stay tuned for this video. All right, guys, so iOS 12.1 developer beta 1 and iOS 10.3.3. So I'm going to brought both devices here. So Apple logo will appear first on iOS 12.1. Usually iOS 12 is faster than iOS 10 and booting up, so um, hopefully it's going to stay this way. Now this time they were actually identical, and the SE is actually super fast here, we really love this device when it comes to booting up. So jumping into the phones, it actually was way smoother on iOS 10. Alright guys, so both phones here have nothing running in the background, so I'm going to start with the calendar. It was actually faster on iOS 12, good stuff. Phone, uh, photo, sorry, identical. Camera, faster than iOS, the focus was faster than iOS 10, going for maps, it was faster than iOS 10, slightly though, clock, iOS 12, weather app, iOS 10 was faster loading, stocks, iOS 10, older UI, phone dialer, definitely animations were faster than iOS 12, Safari, Let's just click on Apple logo here. That seems faster. No, yeah, it was faster than iOS 12. Good stuff there, leaving, going for settings. Actually, animations were actually faster than iOS 12. Good stuff, App Store. Definitely iOS 12, leaving. Now, guys, swiping right, going for third party apps, starting with Geekbench 4. Faster than iOS. 12 to the benchmark faster than iOS 10 and guys I just did a test before this video so uh, these are the scores I actually got I'm gonna show them later going for Instagram and it was slightly faster than iOS 10 Subway Surfers Hong Kong Learning Bar appeared first as always nice then A was faster. Then Pron 2 next. Again, loading water appeared first on iOS 10, sadly, and it seems faster. A was, yes. Leaving, going for Mario Run. Super Mario appeared first on iOS 10. And here comes Super Mario on iOS 12, late as always. And who will win here? Both are taking some time actually. Wow, okay, iOS 10 is done, and here comes iOS 12. The difference wasn't big actually, going for YouTube. Seems like iOS 12 was, yes, was slightly faster. Going for Jetpack Joyride. That was pretty much identical, guys, going for Yelp. That was actually faster than iOS 12. Leaving, going for eBay. That seems about the same. Yes, it was identical, I guess. I'm gonna click on the same article here. And that was actually faster than iOS 12. Good stuff there. Now, guys, going for Snapchat. That was actually faster than iOS 12. The iPhone SE was really good when it comes to speed. It was sometimes faster than, than iOS 10, so that's really good. Sometimes iOS 10 was faster. So now let's see what's up with the RAM management here. So Snapchat, doing good, of course. I mean, would be surprised if otherwise anything happens. eBay, both are fast, Yelp, Back Joyride, YouTube, Mario Run, Temper on 2, Subway Surfers, Instagram, ouch, I actually both had to refresh, Bench 4, solid, App Store, solid, Settings, solid, Safari, both are solid, Phone, both are still doing good, Stocks, Weather, still no refreshes on this one, really good, Lock, nice, Maps, nice, Photos, 
Sonori calendar. So I have this essay didn't refresh a single app. I mean, guys, it excluded uh, camera and the benchmark from the test because the benchmark always refreshes on iPhones and camera actually, can't, I can't tell with the camera. So it seems like the SE is doing really good now in this iOS 12.1, better RAM management than iOS 12, so that's good. So now guys going for a Geekbench 4 test, just like always. All right guys, both phones are done here and just like always, iOS 12 outshines iOS 10 when it comes to scores. So single core is about the same, the difference is just 10, but multi-core score is definitely higher on iOS 12.1, that's really good. I'm just gonna show you some previous cores. That's a score from iOS 12.0. As you can see, it was slightly lower in multi-core, but single core was actually slightly higher. So at least, yeah, there's a big improvement multi-core score. It's something nice to see here on the SE. Now I'm just showing you the scores here, which I actually tested before this test here, as you can see. So CPU was actually better on iOS 10, GPU iOS 10, UX iOS 10. Basically everything is iOS 10 except for memory. Nice to see that iOS 12 was better here. So this phone lost 5% throughout the test, where this lost 11%. This phone has a 1% battery wear level, where this has 13%, so that makes some difference. So at the end, uh, this phone actually, the battery wasn't terrible. I mean, I definitely feel that it's better on iOS 12.0. That's something because I do compare this phone always and usually drains more battery. All right, guys, there you have it. That was a comparison. I'll say, guys, the iPhone SE on iOS 12 was doing really good. So CPU was actually as good as iOS 10. Sometimes it was slower, sometimes it was, fast, it was faster. So it's really all over the place. Uh, RAM was actually really good and didn't refresh a single app. So that's good. Instagram had to refresh on both devices. I think it's an issue with Instagram because iPhone iOS 10 doesn't really refresh any apps and the iPhone SE was perfect usually, so I think it's Instagram's issue. Plus guys, battery, I can't really tell much because this phone has a high wear level, so 13% wear level where the other one's almost perfect, just 1% wear per level on iOS 10. So guys, I can't really tell, but I'm gonna be comparing iPhone 6S on iOS 12 to iOS 10, and then I can't really tell. Both phones have the A9 chip, so I can actually tell then. But I feel like the battery is doing good because it's better than the last beta. I felt it just like as a feeling. So hope you guys like the video, subscribe for more content, peace out.